These add-ons are the best tools and generators for artists who want to create high-level artwork and render without sinking hours or even days into a project. Remember, time is money, so let's save some with these amazing add-ons. Let's start with this pack of 15 add-ons because honestly, it's crazy what you can pull with just one add-on. But what's even crazier, having a collection of 15 powerful tools to help you with everything from camera movement, lighting, and particle simulations. The pack also includes a generator for generating sci-fi HUDs and a cinematic HDRI lighting setup and a whole lot more, all bundled together in one solid package. Objects exploding into countless pieces just look amazing on screen. There's something about controlled chaos that grabs attention. Now imagine the number of ways you could use a tool like this. All you need is an object made up of many parts. It could be a fractured statue that you fractured using the cell fracture add-on or even a robot built from individual pieces. Just drop the collection into the generator, draw a curve and boom, your pieces will fly along the path with style and purpose. Roads are one of the easiest way to show how much time has passed away or how badly an area has been hit. And there is a generator for that. The destroyed road generator lets you create cracked, broken and beat up roads that look like they have been through an earthquake, a superhero showdown or straight up the end of the world. You get full control over the size, style and intensity of the damage. And the best part is that it's all procedure, you just drop it in your world and chaos unholds. Traffic is one of the biggest color libraries out there and it has just dropped a new update. On top of the massive collection of vehicles you already get, they have now added fully detailed interiors. With these cars, you can get up close and personal from any angle, even right inside the cabin. Every door opens, every detail is in place. If you ever need a close-up or an interior shot of any car, traffic is a great library for something like that. If you're working on an animation and you need to throw in some slow motion, this tool got you covered. It's called Time Master and it lets you dial time down like a pro. You can pick an animated character, set when the slow motion kicks in, choose how slow you want the slow motion to be and boom, watch your scene play out in bullet time with just a few clicks. And it's not limited to characters either. Time Master handles cloth simulations, RBD particle simulations, dynamic paint and basically anything that moves can be put into slow motion. We all know texturing is one of the most time consuming parts of creating 3D art, especially when you want to add details like stickers, dirt, rain damage, posters and more. The mesh needs proper UVs, then you have to set up and align the textures and that's a lot of work. But what if you could just slap a textured mesh directly onto a wall, make it conform to the shape of the surface and with alpha textures you can blend it in naturally by adding damage and wear, no need to fuss with complex setups. In the real world, nothing stays perfect forever, bricks cracks, objects break and over time everything shows signs of wear. That kind of detail is what makes 3D scenes feel lived in and believable. Whether you are working on a post-apocalypse settings, a battle damaged city or just want to show the passage of time, adding convincing damage can take your work to the next level. This add-on makes that easy by letting you apply cracks, chipped surfaces and scattered debris to any object regardless of its shape. What really makes it stand out is the way it handles what's beneath the surface. It includes tools to add realistic internal structure like exposed river, tangled wire mesh, dangling cables to reveal the guts that make up the object. Whether it's for a cinematic destruction shot or just gritty steel render, this add-on helps you sell the illusion of damage with very little setup. There are plenty of road generators out there, but Roadscape is in a league of its own. The roads conform to the landscape around it. Using this add-on feels like playing SimCity or Cities Skyline. You can drop in roads, bridges, tunnels and watch the terrain automatically adapt to match, creating those smooth natural transitions you would expect in real life. Once your roads are in place, you can start building everything else around them with confidence. And if you want to tweak the layout, just update the road and the terrain are just right along with it. It's flexible, intuitive, honestly just fun. One of the best ways to learn is by studying the works of other artists, especially when it's something you are trying to recreate. If you are interested in making commercials in Blender, this beverage commercial project is a solid starting point. It can act as a case study, a template or even just a collection of useful assets. 
like a detailed beverage can, fruits, fluid simulations, and more. You are not just looking at the final result, you are diving into how it was built. And if you want to tweak it and make it your own, that's totally doable. It's hands-on learning with assets you can actually use. I love diving into project files. They're like a behind the scene pass to someone else's creative process. If you are looking to make a product reveal, here's a really cool idea. Ice caving in to reveal an ice cold beverage. It's clean, dramatic, and perfect for showing off drinks or chilled product. This setup works great as a template for client work. Just swap out the product and you are good to go. The reveal uses shape keys so it's easy to control and even easier to break apart and customize whether you are studying the technique or using it in your own workflow. It's a solid piece to learn from and build on. Take your scene creations to the next level by unlocking the full potential of Geometry Node's system. It's not just about adding detail, it's about building smarter, more dynamic setups that would be nearly impossible with traditional modeling. With Geometry Nodes, you can create reusable tools and generators that work across multiple projects, things like particle systems, simulation rigs, traffic setups, and more. If you are ready to dive into this powerful workflow, check out the Master Geometry Nodes course. It covers everything from the fundamentals to building procedural systems like paintbrush simulations, a tree generator, a rope setup, motion graphics, and more. By the way, if you are enrolled in the Houdini course for Blender Artists, there is a fresh content update this week, a brand new section on RBD simulations just dropped, diving into everything from fracturing to emitting RBD bodies, and coming soon, you will also see how to handle rendering directly in Houdini's Kama Render Engine. It's a great way to upgrade and expand your VFX skills. If any of these excites you, all links are going to be in the description. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. By the way, my Discord server is active again in case you want to check out some of the upcoming stuff like my new asset collection, which is going to be my largest asset collection and hopefully one of the largest collection on the internet for assets. Links are in the description. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.